I received your TCP scene and also this is my TCP scene. Okay? From 10.1.2.2 to 10.1.2.1. Finally, R1 should send again a TCP ACK message. And this means that the establishment between a, a TCP session establishment between R1 and R2 now is, uh, is okay. And in the final stage, and now we have a TCP session. This is before the BGP neighborship TCP session. Okay, and now R1 and R2 can negotiate BGP parameters for neighborship. This is the process that we call it three-way handshake. The process of TCP three-way handshake. Three steps before these three steps before the sending BGP messages. Okay. I want to show you all of these details because it's necessary to understand everything if you want to be master of BGP. Okay, very good. After that, after TCP session establishment, BGP should send a, a special message to from R1 to R2 and R2 to R1 that they can change, they can negotiate some special parameters. This is the open message. In BGP, we have some important message one is open okay and second is update i will talk about all of these messages in this class and for example other message is keep alive okay and then another message is the notification we will talk about all of this but for now i want to talk about open message open message is similar to the hello message in the eigrp in the ospf after tcp session establishment r1 or r2 one of them should send open message to the other router open message and the format of open message is here bgp open this is the bgp message with the source port random for example destination port 179 because we have a tcp session source port 10.1.2.1 destination port 10.1.2.2 okay this is the open message is sending from r1 and to r3 and also from r2 to r1 look at here from r2 to the r1 after BGP open sent and received in R1 and some parameters that exist in open messages are checked and the checks result is okay the check results are okay the BGP neighborship establishing is is establishing between R1 and R2 now we have BGP neighborship between R1 and R2 as a result, for BGP neighborship, first we should establish a TCP session with three-way handshake, these three steps, okay? And then we should send open message. Open message is a BGP message. And after sending and receiving open message with parameters inside it and negotiating that parameters, BGP neighbor neighborship will be established. And now we can send other BGP message, for example, BGP update, BGP keep alive, BGP notification that I will talk about all of these concepts in this course. Okay. First, I want to show you these processes. I want to configure BGP in R1 and R2, between R1 and R2, and then check the functions. We can configure first the IP address in R1 and R2, EN conf D, hostname R1. And then interface ETH00 IP address 10.1.2.1.255.255.255.0 and then no shutdown. This is the configuration of R1 and then R2. Let's go to R2 EN conf T interface ETH00 and IP address 10.1.2.2.255.255.255.0 no shutdown. And then interface ETH01. 
IP address 10232 10, 10, Why? Because 2 is the uh, rotor 2 is, is for rotor 2 and 3 for rotor 3 and the interface at the side of in the side of R2 is 0 0.2 10.232 and in the side of R3 is 10.233 10.232.255.255.255.0 and then no shutdown. This is the IP address of R2 and we can change hostname, hostname R2 and also in R1, hostname R1. Okay, very good. Let's go to R3. This is R3, EN connect T. First hostname is R3, then interface ETH00 and IP address 10.2.33.255.255.255.0. And finally, no shutdown. This is the initial configuration in R1, R2, and R3. The first things I want to show you that how R1 and R2 can be neighbors. Now, we don't have any BGP configuration. R1 can ping R2, 10122. Okay? Ping 10122. R1 can ping uh, R2. But if you use show IP BGP neighbors, you can see we don't have any BGP neighborship or any BGP in the R1. Let's start the configuration, but we should check the capture and the traffic sending and receiving between R1 and R2. Let's check it. I go to R1, capture, and ETH00. I want to capture this interface, the interface between the link between R1 and R2 for BGP interaction okay i want to configure r1 using this command conf t and also checking the wireshark very good let's set start a start r1 rotor bgp 65001 65000 okay neighbor command i use neighbor command with 10122 and then remote as is 65001 Look at the Wireshark. In Wireshark, we, we should see TCP message sending from R1 to R2, not immediately. After some second, you, can, you should see a TCP request from R1 to R2. This is the TCP. Look at here. 10121 to 10122 TCP with the synchronized flag. This is the sync flag inside the packet. And then this packet sent from 10121 to 10122 okay but the answer is a tcp ACK reset 10122 to 10121 why because we don't have configuration in r2 and because of that now we don't have any tcp session tcp session and also bgp session bgp neighborship okay first after before i go to the r2 let's check the show ipbgp neighbors in show ipbgp neighbors show ipbgp neighbors we don't have any neighborship now i want to use show ipbgp neighbors look at here show ipbgp neighbors gives you a huge a huge result look at here first second third third to four pages okay but if you can see in all of this information, the first line is BGB neighbor is 10122, remote AS is 65001, and this is external, means eBGP. Maybe you think that now we have neighborship. No, it's not correct. BGP state in I